Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Light Crash Course. Today we're going to try to make it into the nether, <clears throat> but we're going to do something a little special. I do have enough diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe. I could just go down, throw some water on some lava, and dig up some obsidian. But that's boring and not new. So what we're going to do, we're getting some of this tin smelting up. I'll show you why. Because with tin, if you arrange them in a circle like so on our project table, you have 16 cells. Well, what do you do with cells, you ask? You put stuff in them. Basically, you can put... Uh, f there's uh, fuel cells you can use. Um, you can fill them full of lava, water, probably where I'm going with that. I think you can also put oil in them. An oil is a, it's another fluid that's new to take it light. However, we're going to be doing the lava and water thing, so we're going to do a little bit of caving. I'm thinking the caves under the village are a good place to start. We're just going to turn this tin into cells. Now we're going to need, I think, 40 to produce the thing. My friend builds himself a, uh, a Buildcraft quarry. Buildcraft quarries are used to automatically mine all of the things that are underneath them. Hey, some of my flax screws. Sweet. Just going to knock that down. I'm going to check it off my list. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where am I? Industrial craft? No. Red power. Flex. Dee, 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 dee. Eventually, at some point, we'll make a, a, a sickle as well. Marble. I'll check that off when we have bricks. I'll get around to that. So, I'll make this go away. All right, then. First, I'm going to get some water. Uh, I left these doors open. No, yeah, I brought some uh, some wild sheep in to bolster my numbers. So we're we'll getting lots and lots of string. We just show you some canvas. Just go to any old self-renewing water source. We're gonna fill about half of these up, just to make sure we have enough. And keep an eye out for uglies too. Don't see any just yet. And now that we're gonna get some glowstone. We're gonna get some other fun stuff. There are ways to actually produce. Craft. Glowstone does require a lot of redstone, which I don't have yet. So, I'll get rid of that a little bit later. So, to get under the village, you do a little poking around. Remember this little spot from earlier. So, dug down a little bit. And there's a hole into a cave. Hopefully, within that cave, we'll find a bit of lava that we can then use. For all the things. Just gonna work our way down here. Hopefully I should be able to place this stuff. Maybe not. Alright, hang with it. Okay, we do have enough rocks to get back up. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Green thing. You guys see a green thing? I see a green thing. There's something poking through. I'm gonna dig up some of this marble here. Doing a little nerd pole to get up. What is that? Torches? Yeah, I got torches. Yeah, it's just a bit of grass. That's no fun. Alright, I'll cover that back up. Take his marble with me. Alright, th there's someone been in this cave already. Have I been in this cave already? With a lot of the coal alone, I can tell that much. I think it was still dark the other way, so we'll go down the other way. Okay, you can see those cells that I dipped in the water, they are now water cells. Ugh. 
This is an inauspicious start. Let's go this way. Probably another dead end. That's probably from the uh, from the place with the things. Here, on our way back out, I'll demonstrate on this lava out here. So we find another cave. I feel like pulling from that. I want to use that as a power source. So I'll just demonstrate on this. It was setting some of my stuff on fire anyway, so that's what it deserves. So just take each of those. What? There it goes. You do have to use these on lava source blocks, just like a bucket. And picks up just like that. Now we take two of those. And you take two of those. It makes do do obsidian. So yeah, we just do that ten times. We can make ourselves a nice little gate to get to the nether. In the meantime, let me just find another source of lava. I know near there's a lava pool near Heidi Hole. I think we'll head over that way. Preferably when it's light out. My friend off server, my friend's off the server. Alright. Heidi hole. Are you just leaving these doors open? Are you leaving these doors open? Keep an eye on the mini map, see if I see any lava pools along the way. Hi, Mr. Cal. You, I might be taking later. One thing I do need to find, I do need to find chickens. We're going to need lots of feathers for another mod. It's the uh, Balkans weapons mod. It adds a bunch of weapons to the game that went there before. I like the boomerang. Do need feathers for that, obviously, but for uh, most of the others, especially for the ammo. We need lots of feathers, lots of gunpowder. Gunpowder we can craft too, similar to how I previously mentioned we can make um, glowstone. But if I can just get it, I'll just get it. Potato! Ah, lava pools. Swimmy, swimmy, swim. What's this? That's the most curious formation. Hmm. Well, fill the rest of these guys up. Hey, some coal under there, maybe. Maybe we'll be freeing up some uh, some resources from underneath here. Clicky, clicky. A little bit of tin, a little bit of water, a little bit of lava. Blah! You have obsidian blocks. No diamonds required. So we're just going to head back to town. Find a nice place to park this bad boy. We'll park it down in that cave. Little little shelter down there. That way, if any pigmen spawn in, they won't be able to uh, steal my cocoa puffs. Because that's what pigmen do. They love cocoa puffs. You would believe. So you have cocoa puffs. I should find a jungle too. Get a cocoa farm going. Maybe plant me some jungle trees. Because an iron axe is, I think, just enough to take down an entire jungle tree with a tree capitator. Alright, I should have some flint laying around. I'll grab that. I may need to smelt some iron as well. You, come here. I just love these electric furnaces. You just throw one in, and it comes to, you don't have to, you know, Burn a whole thing of charcoal or smelt eight at a time. Thought I had flint. Where's my flint at? I know I missed the clay earlier, so I'm probably just missing it. Ah, here we go. Flint. Grab some of that. Grab my iron. 
make a flint and iron. I mean, flint and steel. Why it isn't flint and iron is beyond me, because it's not really steel. Steel. Steel and other mods. But nothing on here. I should probably build a couple hatches here, too. Hey, what are you doing in there? Grab some wood. Just always carry wood. Build some extra hatches. Let's make a nice long entrance way here that the villagers won't try to get into. Let's put some dirt there for now. I really like the new hatch placement rules. It's one of the reasons I really wanted to play in 1.4.7. Marble. Build a little underground lair down here. I mine some of this out, wall it off. Don't mind the noise in the background. Apparently Facebook makes noise now, and that's kind of annoying. I won't lie. A nice open area. I think we'll build the thing above here. Just kind of build up a pseudo wall of sorts. Maybe a little bit safer. These skeletons and zombies won't be able to get through. So I can properly light it up. I do at some point want to make like a substructure to the town, kind of like what they have in uh, Disney World. You know, they run all the trash tubes and a power through. Light up this town with the modern electricity. Wouldn't that be exciting? Probably not. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and lay down our obsidian. That's it's a little too wide. Oh well. Yeah, you know, previous other videos will show you we don't actually need a full circle. Like we can, you can actually knock those corners out. And I'll still make another portal. Make sure we're well supplied. Make sure we're fed. Fully healed. Bring along my torches. Bring along some dirt. I mean, don't need the shears, but yeah, they're really going back. We got enough supplies now. So we'll head in another. See what we can do. We're finding some glowstone dust. Oh, hello. Fascinating. That's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot of glowstone. I'm gonna go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurt you too. Guests are kind of annoying. Yeah, these are the nether ores that I actually mentioned in the previous episode. I think this stuff's tin. If you dig at this, pigmen get angry. Very, very angry. And try to murder you. But you stay over there. I don't want to bother you. Just came for some glowstone. That's all, guys. Don't mind me. I guess one's nether rack, too. I don't think I can do anything with nether rack, but I'll grab some. 
Let's see anything for a nerd? Oh, I gotta get some netherrack anyway, because I don't have enough for a nerd bolt. Oh, I'm prepared. Hey, 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 what'd I do? Hey. Grab, 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 grab. Shelter. Big man shelter. Whew. Okay. What the hell happened? See that guy? He was like, rah, and I was like, rah, and, and shit died. Why don't I just dig over here? Jerks. come across any ores in here, I might just dig them up. Hey, Pigman coming by, can't get in. Ooh. What's this? Oh no, I've made them angry. It's fine, come at me. Pigs. Here, piggy piggy. Way entrance. I see now you see the logic in this, don't you? Dodger! Pigmen are too dumb to open that, so. They start to get angry. Let's retreat into there. They can't get me. Yes, sir? Can I help you? <laughs> Welcome to Pigman Kill Incorporated. Please take a number. Who else wants to mess with me? You guys? I guess so. Eventually, we may set up a uh, another mining operation as well. Make ourselves a uh, little quarry. Have it automatically send things into the overworld, which is a thing you can do. There is a, a mod called Ender Storage, which. In a sense, replaces the ender chest. Basically, every ender chest in ender storage is color coded. Do you remember how to get back to my uh, my thing? Nope, can't come in. My shelter, you can't use it. Well, it's got plenty of gold stuff. Another thing about the alloy furnace, if I get like a golden sword from these guys, some golden armor, I just drop in the alloy furnace. And guess what? Turns it back into gold ingots, I think. Okay, now these guys seem calm enough. Buckle up. Start digging. I mean, I don't get big this in anything. I don't think I'll do that. Uh, glowstone's used for a few different recipes, and industrial crafts used to make like advanced circuits. It's also using Lumar, which is using uh, colored lamps, which are always fun. Basically, an advanced version of the glowstone lamp. I should use some other things as well, but. Like I said, I haven't really used everything that's in all these mods as well. I'm doing this series. Alright, grab all the things. Hmm. 
really can't do much with that. That I really should grab after I have a macerator. Mm. Let me do that in an upcoming episode. Really want that massive pile of glowstone there. Here it is. All right. Now the same about raise minimap. You can make waypoints anywhere, including in the Nether. And in we go. I'll take it back to the surface again. I kind of had a feeling this would happen. They are a bit close together, so it dropped me off at my uh, my friend's portal. That's fine. We'll work our way back. Sleep in his bed again. There's a way to fix that, too. Why am I going down there? His bed's up here. Are you serious? Don't mess with me. You? Want a piece of this? I hope that was the only nearby monster. I really didn't like make it daylight. There we go. Alright. Now I head back. To Pompeii. Yeah, there you go. One diamond free nether portal. Yes. Oh, you're trading wheat. I may talk to you later. Emeralds are going to come in handy later on for one of the other mods. Uh, modular power suits. The, uh, tinker table for that requires like an actual like vanilla emerald so I'm really glad to see they're incorporating a lot of new vanilla stuff and not just sticking to their own ores or their own stuff but for now I'm gonna eat some potatoes stock my health drop off some of this netherrack probably make some more barrels maybe replace the walls with them I know I need to Stuff in the chest for now, I'll be fine. Oh, it's Nicolate Ore that I got. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and macerate that up later on. Get some super sweet Nicolite. Probably gobs of this stuff, too. I mean, a lot already comes out of vanilla, well, overworld stuff. up on the roof here. Gaze out upon my mountain as we fire up the checklist. Played with cells. So it's one of the things that they could do. They can do all sorts of other cool stuff too. You can extract water cells into like coolant cells for upgrades for industrial craft machines, things like that. To play around that, we start an industrial craft. But for now, call it an episode. Good night.